custom component output parameter or the value returned from the custom component into the screen. So very first thing, we'll create the component. So new component, or we can say from here, custom new component. You can give it any name, it doesn't matter. New custom property, I'll call it the return value, R-E-T-U-R, and return value. And return value we will use as the proper as a property of the component and we will display it on the screen so we'll keep it text we don't need this at the moment to raise the event um, let's say create and that's it and here component return value will pass some text here. This is some text. And remember, this can come from calculation, from a, a drop-down or formula, whatever you like. You can put it here in the return value. Simple, very simple to understand. If there is no simpler way than this to make it clear. So I come here, I insert custom component one. That's it. And I put a label. You're done. You're done, man. Done, done, done. I just put component one underscore one underscore one dot uh, return value. That's it. That's it, man. We just run. And there you go. Value is right there. If I change this in the component, changed. New text. That's it. Right away in the screen you can see. So this is return value. Its value is coming from this component and we are displaying it here. Thanks for watching.